Hello everybody, this is Eric coming from you from Fish Addicts. Today I'm going to cover a topic that a lot of people get confused, and that's your pH, GH, and KH. This is going to be just a very basic formula I'm going to go over to make it very simple for the beginners. I'm not going to get high tech in here and get into the specific minerals, etc., etc. So basically I'll start off with pH. pH is just the amount of acidity in your water. A pH runs from a scale of 0 to 14, 7 being neutral. If your tank is below 7, 6.9 below, it's considered acidic. If it is 7.1 or higher, it's considered alkaline. Depending on what type of fish you keep, your pH can range. A lot of fish out there actually have a very wide range of pH, so they're almost good with anything. Now, a lot of people get confused with KH and GH, which refers to the water's hardness. I'll start off with KH. KH is also known as alkalinity. Basically what that means, in a nutshell, is it's the ability for the water to hold the pH steady. The higher the KH is, the more that your pH will remain level. If you have very low KH, usually in soft water, you're going to find that your pH will continuously drop off, which is totally natural for the aquarium. Now, when it comes to general hardness, GH, GH is actual how much mineral is in your water. So for all these three ranges, there are ways you can alter those numbers, pH, KH, and GH, depending on which aquarium product, which we were definitely gonna go into in another video coming up here pretty shortly. Anyways, you guys have a great day. This is Eric, and I'll see you tomorrow.